Hey guys, welcome back to the Small Town Critics Podcast. I want the Small Town Critics. My name is Mo. Okay. And we got everyone in the building today. I'm glad. It's full house today. Yes, and sir. we have a very special guest. Uh, straight from the post credit scene podcast. Ah, my guys. Come on, man. The return of Gaz. Yeah. Let's go. Oh, man. Hey, can I just say, yeah, like, first, firstly, thank you for having me back. You of guys. Course. Just loving what you did at the moment, man. Like, you you know, too, bro. Honestly. It, you know, it's a mutual love. I, and I'm very, I wouldn't say that for the sake of saying it. Like, yeah. You guys are killing it. So I'll just no, keep doing it. Good stuff yeah, for real, you. yeah. I've been seeing you not doing the interviews and stuff, it's yeah, amazing. It's, amazing, it's incredible, Try, man. Stuff, just man. obviously yeah. trying to build this sort of world for ourselves, I guess, yeah. isn't it? Like, you know, bro, even your own TikTok page. Oh, yeah, try, man. Like, it's yeah. good, bro. thank you, man. You know what? Like, there's a few times here yeah, that, um, I'm, I'm obviously doing the TikTok thing. Yeah. I see guys is on, I have, some, I have to show my face, yeah. Well, gone, boom, oh, a on, on the live, yeah. But yeah. then the other day, he was talking about scandal, and what was the other one? I did a Desperate Housewives live, desperate house, yeah. and I, I, I was like. I'm not gay though. No, this listen, man, that's cool. I'm, I'm, bro, I love that. That's my housewife. man. It's cool, bro. I, I promise you now, yeah. That is okay. It's not one of the best. It's like a, it's like great B, B tier. Underrated. It's underrated. It's a great B team. It's so. Ain't good. that, ain't that like reality TV no, show? No, 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 no. no, no. Which one? It's, which a, one drama. it's a drama. It's, it's Come a drama. Come on, bro. Terry Hatcher, bro. Come on, bro. It's a drama, bro. In my head, I thought Eva Longoria. Eva Longoria. No, it's, it's, oh. But still, though. Nah, bro. Yeah. I'm telling you now. You know what? One, I'll, gi- I'll give one episode and yeah. I'll try it. Yeah. You know I'll try it. I'll pick the episode for you. I'm not gonna lie to you. That show is well, so well acted as well. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. Yeah, yeah so nah, it's, don't it's, sleep on that, bro. Bro, it's, it's, I swear that's the only reason. Because normally I'll jump in and say, "Yeah, well done, boom, show me." That, 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 that was the only one. That live was popping as well. Is yeah, it? Yeah, it was crazy. Okay, okay, yeah, okay, okay. Okay. It was popping live, but yeah, no, nah, thank you for having me. I used to watch crazy. that show every time in a free period when I came back from six one. But it's, 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 <laughs> worth, it's like that, even yeah. as it's worth. It's, once you're in it, mm. you don't come out of the series. Don't come out of it. Yeah, yeah, bro. Let's go. I like that. Good stuff. Well. Guys, as you know, can see from the title of the video for this episode, we are reviewing Furiosa, a Mad Max saga. Am I right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, starring, well, directed by George Miller, obviously, mm-hmm. starring Chris Hemsworth and Anya Taylor Joy. Um, confessions, I ain't seen it. I uh, had to deal with some things, so sorry, guys. No but you guys have seen it, so thank you very much. So these guys will be doing reviews, and I'll be probably asking some questions here and there if I can. Um, but yeah, before we get into it, guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell so you know when the videos are coming out. Socials will be down in the description below. Same with guys in the post credits podcast. On, man. So yeah, please check them out. Uh, guys, quick couple minutes, non spoiler. Mm-hmm. Guys, as our guest, I would like you to start if you can. You cool with that? <laughs> 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 no, nah, I'm laughing because I feel like, based upon all the stuff I've seen online, yeah. politics and so on and so forth, I went into this. Sit stupidly with high expectations for Same. this just because like the way it's been spoken about that's fair though and the way people have spoken about Chris Hemsworth and so on and so Same forth yeah. I, I was expecting something so backstory is I didn't love Mad Max Fury Road like I wow. think it's I think it's a good film mm. I, I didn't love like mm. I know people look at this guy look at this guy look at this guy he's thinking I've got support I've got he, he, he really doesn't I like it I know he doesn't like it yeah. like, um, M- Manny who's on the other pod yeah, yeah he Shout tried he watched like the first 20 minutes he, he, he was like no it's not for yeah. really wow. yeah interesting so i went into this with that that in mind that i didn't love the film i, I didn't mind it either sure. good film yeah, yeah, yeah. furiosa first 20 minutes i was so thrown off by hemsworth mm. yeah so like right the backstory is i love the first 15 with the action scene with the mum yes. right the mum trying to uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. get the daughter back that was really good yeah. long action scene but the really really was, yeah, yeah. It was so good yeah. hemsworth threw me off tonally because for me, it was just too melodramatic and too over the top, personally. That doesn't mean he didn't act well. So mm-hmm. people that say he acted well, that's one That's one sort of segment or one sort yeah. of way I can look at this film. He acted well. I didn't think it worked or made sense for this story in this sure, film yeah. because of the darker tones and the themes of this film in terms of like uh, being separated from the daughter, yeah. the, the wastelands, the sort of uh, difference in class and the sort of separation of the wastelands itself, right? Yeah. So I don't think it worked in that sense, but he acted well. Um, but I, I think the film was a good film overall. Well acted. It's got some um, some great action scenes, but it's also a slower film. And I think it could have done with maybe like 20, 15, 20 minutes less of sort of the film itself. Mm. Um, Anya Taylor Joy for me was the best part of the film though. Cool. I thought she was, I thought she was really, really good. Nice. Hashi, non spoiler, you think? Non spoiler. So I am a huge fan I can of the tell. whole Mad Max. Uh, Even the 80s ones? 800 percent Really? From Mad Max 1, you know what I mean? To, to, to 2, to Thunderdome. To, to, and I, I was so shocked when Fury came out. And I, cause I, was, I had a high bar mm-hmm. for the first three. And then when you have Fury Road, 
B-Way is so great. What, what is it for you though? What, is it, what, is that, what do you mean by that? For, for me, I think the cinematography for Fury Road was so incredible. The fact that everything is in the center of the frame. You know what I'm saying? Every single piece of action is there. Also the kind of like, the, the size of it, the heft of it, like it's so grand. The scale, yeah. The scale was incredible. You know what I'm saying? The acting, obviously having Charlie Theron, Tom Hardy. Tom Hardy playing a very kind of quiet, kind of quasi, kind of Marlon Brando, like mm. barely making any, you know what I mean, any dialogue, just basically speaking with his eyes. And I just think it was, just out, I thought it was just outstanding kind of thing. And I watched it recently when it came out again, before the, before the uh, Furiosa came out. And I just thought it was, it was still incredible. Mm. Kind of Fury Road is pretty good. I like, yeah, and it's it's crazy when you hear like, Charlize Theron and Tom Hardy never got along yeah, at all, but their yeah. chemistry. Only afterwards they kind of reconciled. Yeah. Like, like, really Hardy had to apologise for his behaviour on yeah, set. Yeah. Oh, is it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. But um, I thought the action in that movie. I can only speak about Fury Road, moment, but the action in Fury Road, top notch for me anyway, at least. Yeah. So with this film, now I have to admit, I was very much disappointed. Like mm. I was like, I had such obviously, I had, I like you had like a very high bar for this, and I think maybe my my bar was too high because I felt that a lot of this film was very repetitive of Fury Road. Okay. Kind of thing. Again, there's only so many kind of big rigs that chases that we can have. But the, uh, the, the set pieces that are in this film are very, very good. Like there's one kind of like non-stop 15 minute one, like in the middle of the film, which is just outstanding with um, Furiosa and Petri and Jack. I thought that was very, very good. The way, obviously having the whole kind of sequence with the-, with the Not the, too much, not too much. Mm. Okay, we're so gonna get into it, we're gonna, we're gonna get, we're get into it. But I thought, like you, I, I liked what, what 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 Hemsworth is doing. Again, like you, I thought it was too melodramatic. I thought oh, it was too much, man. Because again, it was more kind of like comic relief in a very very serious kind of dystopian world where it's He's life. Spitting and bars, death, man. You know what I'm saying? He's spitting bars. And my guy was making these kind of dead jokes, kind of thing. You know what I mean? Like, and I just felt it was a kind of a bit incongruent to the film that we we're getting, kind of thing. Yeah. And that's my only issue because I thought he was good. He was good, but that's just my only issue. Same with you, I thought Anya Taylor Joy is fantastic, but also the younger actor who she, plays Alia Brown, yeah, Alia yeah, Brown, yeah, yeah. I thought she was fantastic, and she had quite a lot of the film. Yeah, yeah. You know first I mean? hour, I would say. Yeah, first yeah. hour is just her. We don't get Anya for the for the first hour, which is crazy. And I thought the actor who played uh, Immortan Joe, because he's a different actor, was was pretty good. Because I, again, I didn't realize until oh, after yeah, the film. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I thought again, a lot of the kind of like um, ensemble cast was was fantastic as well, but. I, again, I just felt it was a bit too repetitive in certain parts, and kind of it just follows the the movie kind of thing. I'm we'll get you. into it more. I'm with you. Kind of thing, kind of but go on, Kem. Kem, Kem with the new chat show. to us, man. Chat to us. Um, non spoiler. Non spoiler. I really enjoy this. I didn't like Fury Road that much, but I really enjoy this one. Interesting. Um, yeah, it is because I think maybe I didn't give Fury Road the um, grace it needed in regards to what it offered. Um, so I now will be going to rewatch Fury Road mm. and seeing if I still feel the same. Can I um, ask? Did you watch Fury Road when it came out, or way after? Or no, when it came out. When it came when out. It came out okay. I've, I've never really been a Mad Max fan, even from yeah. like the old schools of yeah. seeing them. Yeah. It never like the concept never really got me. Mm. Never. Really, but then speaking on this one, um, I enjoyed. What Hemsworth did, obviously, counts. <laughs> you know what I'm That's right. Be- because again, I went into this, and I think I need to do this more often. I went into this movie, n- like just saying, you know, I'm just gonna watch it for what it is. Yeah. Low expectations. Low expectations. Yeah. And I think because I did had low expectation, I was pleasantly surprised. And yes, at first Hemsworth was it was a bit over the top, but it it stayed consistent. So it wasn't like, oh, he's over the top at the beginning. Almost like, um, f- what's his name from Fast and the Furious? Big guy. Oh, Jason, Jason Momoa. Momoa. <laughs> yeah, Jason Momoa. Again, it was peaks and troughs, peaks and troughs in regards to, to his performances yeah, yeah. where Chris Hemsworth was just like consistent throughout. Mm-hmm. And then you, you get that's him. And then for me, I kind of l- looked into, like saw into his character that he is one of a character which is searching himself. And he is not, and then when I figured that, obviously there are factions within the groups and everything, then I said, you know what, fair enough. I really understand this character more. Mm. And it, again, Anatole Joe was good. My only issue, again, non-spoiler, my only issue was something like some of the shots, 
and how they were done and how some of the edits was. But overall, I really enjoyed it to the to the point that I want to go rewatch um, Fury Road. It's interesting, you know. I saw some like uh, I was reading some like interviews, I guess, from Anya Taylor Joy. I think it was, and yeah, people like Chris. They were just like George Miller's his like directing style is like you don't really know what's happening or what's to come and stuff yeah, like yeah. that it's just he has this vision and then once they see the final cut they're like oh that's what you wanted yeah. from us and it's like okay it worked at the end so it's like it's, it's really interesting yeah. but, um, it's, 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 it's actually really funny because I was reading the same article and obviously films are kind of shot out of sequence kind of thing yeah. in the actual story but he, he does it in such a way where he may start with the very final scene on the first day kind of thing and he's just literally chopping right. it's like it confuses everyone yeah. in his head he's, he's piecing it together in his own sort of head right yeah, yeah. 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 I, I, I think people, people um, they, they need to put more respect on directors like because what they do and to have all of these sort of as you say sequence and have little sort of plots in their head which has sort of counters and um, stuff to actually make stuff makes sense yeah. and it's all in their head and it's playing out it's like they're almost like a mad genius sometimes it is their vision at the end yeah, of the day yeah. isn't it yeah. but it's just how how as you say if you're doing it in reverse order you just do it if you're filming it from left to right and all, it just it's crazy to actually see and then understand their processes that's yeah. why they need they need more respect man yeah George Miller is a strange director for me it's like he has the Mad Maxes but then he has stuff like Happy Feet and <laughs> it's like yeah and Babe and yeah. stuff like that it's like I don't, 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 don't 3,000 years yeah you don't, don't, don't no I don't I don't disrespect any of this film 3,000 years along you better put some respect on I it think, yeah. yeah oh yeah you like that yeah, yeah. yeah. of course uh, I thought it was alright you know what I mean listen listen I don't want to stop to be fair like every single film he's done has always it's been great like it's, it's always really really great things in all his films kind of. and he's a very very mm. good director and I thought this is a very very well directed film. Yeah. But I just felt we're we're rehashing on ground. Yeah. That's what I felt like. I felt like I've seen this already. Now you said now you said that I'm worried. Obviously, I'm, I'm a worried, bit worried that, you might that not like Fury Road. I, yeah. No, no, I'm gonna go back and watch Fury Road and see the same thing that I saw before, and then not like. Yeah. Few, well, I'm gonna knock down a few notches of um, Furiosa. Furiosa because. It's so repetitive, as you say, because yeah. I genuinely didn't pay attention. When you say repetitive, is that from a sort of action sort of sequence perspective or like a narrative perspective? Narrative. Because again, it's again, we're, it's the same kind of like chase movie. It's the same kind of like we're trying to move mm. resources kind of thing. Mm -hmm. It's not, we're not trying to kind of like, um, like investigate the world and the way it is and stuff like that. Okay, like cool. Breaking the wheel or something like, like mm. something different. You know what I'm saying? That's what I was expecting. Obviously, mm -hmm. a female character. Maybe she's trying to break the wheel. You know what I'm saying? Or something like that. Maybe she's trying to. You know, oh, okay, with you. With you know what I mean? I get you. Know you. I get you. That's, that's kind of what I was expecting. Okay. I didn't get that. Yeah. No, I was going to say, could we get into this because I would. Yes. Please, Please, I was just about to ask the question. I was just about to say. No, no, we're gonna no, no. Granular it's fine. I was about to say, get into spoilers, and it's interesting. You're going to watch the uh, Fury Road after, and this is the prequel, so it's yeah, like yeah. the way it's you're actually, watching again, it. Again, that's why I quite. I'm quite looking forward to it because it's a prequel. Yeah. Because if it was obviously like a sequel to um, Fury Road, but like, oh, okay, and I'm gonna go back and then rehash, knowing, but now because I know it's a prequel, mm. I'm fine with it. It's different. Yeah. So it makes sense. It makes it such a linear sort of process in regards to watching. Yeah. So um, yeah, spoilers gone. So my issue with the um, the first the first um, first scenes was. The chase yeah. scene, right? Yeah. The chase scenes, yes, but it was from, just from the, from, the from, green from, from the green place. It was just the the over the overuse. Or would I personally say misuse, but the overuse of drop frames. Okay. In order to make the 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 the, the, the chases and the runs fast and sharp, because you, you get the drop frames and they're moving quick, and you see the choppiness in their movement. Yeah. They overdid that. Yeah. In my opinion. Yeah. They I, overdid that. I and I, I, as somebody who works in media, I see it and I see for what it is. And I'm like, certain files, you have to fail certain things for that. Mm. They overused it. it and I so guess it was creative. And it made it look worse when there's bad CGI. Cause there's a couple oh, of yeah, the CGI, yeah, yeah. You can literally see they're in the volume. Yeah, yeah, yeah of course. And, it's, and plus with the drop frame stuff. Yeah, you saw it as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. It kind of does look bad. But again, it wasn't too many of the scenes. It was mainly just like, either running scenes yeah. or like a motorcycle it wasn't like the big rig kind of things no no I agree, I agree, I agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. on location but maybe that, that's just a personal gripe but that, that I think they just overused that but then the further they got into the film there was less of that yeah. obviously because of the car chase in it but it, w it was fine it was fine it was fine yeah. this film was way too I think it would be good to kind of get a perspective as well guys I felt overall this film was too, way too long oh, 100%. like 
the first sequence that, was near enough a movie itself. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's crazy. I was listening to another <laughs> podcast uh, the on the the ringer of got um, the Midnight Boys. It's got like Van yeah, 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 Leuven and that. Yeah, yeah. And they said the exact same thing. That first 15, 20 minutes of the chase sequence of the mom and the door. Yeah, yeah. It's, they literally said the same thing. It felt like a separate sort of mini movie in itself oh, wow. yeah. from the film. Yeah. It's still part of the film, but it also yeah. felt like a separate like movie. It's crazy. Exactly. That, it's crazy that you've literally said the same and thing. And it's mad. It's, it's also mad that the fact that like you can see that there's there's like kind of this world is like so lived in the fact that she knows that she needs to take a son, but she knows she has to kind of remove the wheel. She knows all the stuff that she has to do to yeah. survive in this world, yeah. kind of thing. And she knows how important it is to protect the information yeah. that is the green place. That green place and yeah. I felt like having that as the main kind of like motivation was so cool at the start, yeah. kind of thing. And then seeing them like making it to the camp and stuff like that, her taking care, her, her kind of headshotting the first guy. By the way, everyone in this can shoot everyone can shoot everyone's, everyone's, can everyone's, shoot, a <laughs> everyone's a sniper everyone's a sniper everyone's a sharp shooter this is what annoyed me as well if you under if you see the if you see the chase and you see obviously how the planes is because you have again a lot of dunes every time there's a shot a sniper shot they're in transit and the person is but is beyond the hill yeah how are they getting these shots off <laughs> and there was one there was one where um uh and Anya um, w- was driving. Yeah. Oh yeah. And she sniped. No, I didn't get that. Again, like I'm thinking, is she like kind of driving with her legs? You no, and you can't. Then, you how can't. can you do that? Like, is, there is no, know, there's no explanation to that, and it really annoyed me. And, I, and these are the little thing that takes me away from. It's like there are there, there are the, the the question marks. This is far fetched. There is no question marks. This just yeah. don't make any sense. Yeah, for me, I always do suspension of disbelief. That's yeah. Kind of, I kind of like just do that because, like, I think it's wild. I do think it's wild. I'm not like she head topped three guys, and all you see is them looking over the junior and her just continually driving. No, but it takes a while for her to get <laughs> to the top of the And then obviously, then obviously, like with um, Hemsworth running back and then obviously lying down to scope and everything. That's dangerous in itself. If you're going to shoot beyond the dune, yeah. you actually put your head up I did there. think mm. it was very cool when they're in Bullet Town. Bullet yeah. Town, and he uses the guy as a kind of shield, basically meat shield. No, of course. Thing, and then it literally gives him enough time while she's reloading to the next shot yeah. to, for him to get his shot. I yeah. thought that was pretty cool. Quick thing, I don't I don't want to be jumping um, jumping, sorry, yeah. jumping too much, but do because I, I have my opinion on this. Do you guys think if that beginning, that chase... Yeah, uh, from the green place to the camp. Yeah. If that was set in, if that was set in the middle of the, m- the movie, and they had a bit before, b- b- bit before to explain the green place a bit more for oh, for for, for people who don't actually follow the Mad Max um, yeah. saga, saga yeah. to yeah. sort of kind of introduce, the the, yeah, to introduce them to what the importance are. Do you get that in the, the element of obviously keep the information, but just ha- have a build up, have a little build up. And that chase scene, sort sort of like in the middle, and the and there are some bits in the movie that I couldn't I couldn't care less for. <laughs> yeah, like, you, I, you I know agree. the yeah. montage when they're building the rig. I couldn't care for that. Yeah. Couldn't care for that. That could come in the next one. We saw that in F- um, Fury Road, the, the the vehicle. We know. But if we had that in the middle, do you reckon it would have been a better movie? Sure. As in, so it, it would have been the context in the movie, if that makes sense. So you, so you want the context away from the beginning. Because that's the context of yeah, why kinda, Furiosa, kinda ha- where, yeah, yeah. why she is the way she is. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair <laughs> so it, it, was a fair it would essentially not. It would essentially be if I'm reading you right, like a throwback scene of like, or like, you know, going back in the past to explain. Not, not so much that. I just felt that chase scene was so good. I think it should, and because everything it else was so long in the middle of the film. Yes. So you're more looking for an introduction, similar to kind of Black Panther, where you get introduction to the whole world and stuff like that. And Is I that don't. What you're looking for? No, it's not so much. The, I don't care too much about the introduction. I'm just thinking if we had a little bit in the front, yeah, and had that more in the middle of the movie to be its own thing. To be its own oh, thing, okay. because again. As you say now, thinking back, as you say, it's so the the the, the big rig chase was kind of repetitive of the last movie, right? Mm. Yes. So if we had focused on that chase, that chase to the, the the camps instead of that whole big rig sort of like um, scene where where they're sort of trying to get to the bullet place or whatever yeah. it may be, would it have have, have a different impact? Are you still trying to keep that within within the first act of the film, though, or is that more like, like second second, second act? Keep the put the well, second I'm not act. Sure. In. I, I don't think I'm so. just asking. It, it sounds like that that scene was there to 
grab people that's in the it. beginning. Yeah, it was. Yeah. But for me, my only thing is, great scene doesn't have to be that long. It doesn't have to be. It that was long. longer than it needed to be. Yeah. But that's the only thing. But it really grabbed me. Literally, bro. Like, I had, like, a really nice, like, smash burger on me. <laughs> my boy. And, bro, I, I, I barely got halfway through. How did you get a smash burger second, in the second, cinema? Wait, what? what? <laughs> Don't want to reveal that. Like, I was like, just about to say, we don't condone you eating any outside food in the cinema. <laughs> <laughs> I can't lie. That's my bag for real. <laughs> you are not going to get me to pay £5.50 <laughs> for a large Thank popcorn. I hear it. And my <laughs> popcorn is a 99 pence popcorn. <laughs> yeah, I hear it. Yes. God, it's, it's a 99 pence popcorn. Yeah. Come on, man. Listen, I'm just saying, look, look. You, just, obviously, obviously yeah. overall, we don't condone that. We don't. We, yeah. don't condone we support that. cinemas. Yeah, yeah, of course. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Can I, okay, this is this is a, no seriously. This is it's not film related. Just a quick question, yeah. yeah. Do popcorn make you pop? Huh? Popcorn? No, man. Does it make you go like, what, number two? No, pop. Like, oh, no, gas. No, come. Yeah, because it's got air, it's so. got pockets. Like, it's it's, 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 it's just it's just too much. It's just is, a bit. Is this a you problem? It must be. That's yeah. what I'm asking. Might be I'm jiggly. I'm good with popcorn, you I know. I need to go gas- gastro gastro clinic, bro. Yeah, <laughs> must do, man. Must do. This is crazy. We need to get Kim to the UK, bro. <laughs> bro, I struggle. I feel bloated after eating popcorn. What's your flavour, though? Huh? What's your flavour? You know what? My thing was sweet, yeah, for so long you, until you got, I, you're mixed in it. Huh? You're mixed guy. No, no, no. I still, I still, I'm a mix. No, I'm, 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 I'm still sweet. Does that apply to women as well? What do you mean? Uh, Jeez, uh, Jeez, uh, Jeez, uh, Jeez, uh, this guy. He's too sharp, bro, bro. You, you, no, but the thing about yeah, uh, before uh, I was cool, yeah. You know when I first really messed with the mix when I went to the June street um, screening. Oh really? Like, because I was on one day, I was like, uh, those screenings, man, they give good popcorn. Yeah. Wait, what's what's your flavor? Sweet as well. I'm I'm a sweet, but I don't mind mix. I like sweet though. Yeah, do you yeah, know, I, but do you not get? Have you ever been to where they put the chocolate on the like the M and M's? Nah, I don't, I don't. Bro, it's a good, it's a good, it's a good add-on. Even the toffee one. I don't hey, bro, mind I put. Oh, no, too, too I, put sweet. I put chocolate buttons in there, bro. Yeah, my friend does that. Yeah, yeah, chocolate yeah. Chocolate buttons, she, she puts like M and M's or Maltesers. Yeah. She's, she's a Maltesers girl. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. I hear it. I hear it. Chocolate with the popcorn. Maltesers. Is that nice? The Absolutely. Is that the airy one? Huh? The Maltesers, man. Maltesers. The Maltesers. You are bro, too. You're, you're too. So old, you're too London to not know what Maltesers. No, are. I know. No, no. In my head, I'm trying to understand because is it the one you got is and it hovers and if it, that one. And the advert. Yeah 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 yeah, 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 yeah. I do that. Come on, come on, man. Come on, man. Oh, no, we've completely decided. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, sorry. Tangent um, gone. Okay, yeah, no, no. So, um, yes, there was another thing. So you know the again with the Chris Hemsworth. Yeah. Ah. Oh. He was again. I really enjoyed him. Really enjoyed the um, the sort of um, act, the the the, the sort of uh, kind of act he was betraying when he went to the other guy, um, Morton Joe. I because again I didn't pay too much attention. I thought it was him until he was revealed. I was like, oh, I thought you was gonna become him. Oh, oh I see. Because again, I didn't pay too much attention to the last one, right. and then when it was like, oh, so there are factions. So it's a good it's a good setup for Because of the long hair and stuff maybe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But it's a good setup to to a future of Mad Max or the Fury Road or whatever it is. So now I think maybe in the future we're gonna have we're gonna have wars and sort of stuff like well, this. I think there'll probably be more exploration of the green place. And I think maybe I th- maybe this the the sequel to Fury Road be, could be them kind of going to their green place, we'll learn more about it kind of thing. Yeah, I also found it, it was funny that Chris Hemsworth's real life wife was the other person that was kind of leading the, the green place. Oh. She said, like, sh- sh- shall I go kind of thing. Elsa and Pataki? Yeah. 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 I don't think the green place, again, I think the green place is going to ultimately be the the thing everybody wants. Yeah. But right now, in the lot, in... Um, Popcorn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Fairs, yeah. Right, right, no, right, right, right now, everybody's uh, obviously just the, the, it's a power struggle in to get control of Go- um, Gas Town, Bullet yeah. Town, and obviously yeah. the Water Place as well. So once they've got that in, under control, then yeah. it's a case of finding the green place. What do you think of the uh, prosthetics on Chris Hemsworth? Because when I was looking at it in oh, the nice. trailer, I was like, this looks it was weird. Yeah. It, it was it was a choice. It was a bit weird. Like, it reminded know. me of Bradley Cooper. I don't know why. Oh, Maestro. 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 Yeah. Maestro. Yeah. I hear it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, it was just obvious to me. I could just, I could just yeah. see. Yeah, you could see it was obvious. Yeah. yeah. You think? Look, Hemsworth is a pretty boy. So, like, any sort of stuff like that, you're like, that's that's not like it does. Yeah. It does sort of stick out. But yeah. But I think for me, there's also like issues, like story wise, like why did we get the whole thing where Rictus is quasi like like really enamored with um, young Furiosa kind of thing. Like, yeah, that was that was off that for me. Was, that that was, was, yeah, that was off for me. I can't lie, that, that, I was like, this is, this is weird. Yeah, this yeah, is weird. yeah. Like Why that. did they throw that in? I didn't like that. I didn't like it at all. And it was meant to be the precursor to her escaping, but then what I found very weird is 
one of the brides has escaped. Why does no one care? Yeah. Like, and if the fact that Furiosa then stays yeah, in there the because she cut off her hair. Yeah, yeah. She yeah. cuts off her hair and yeah. then becomes like one of the, the mechanics kind of stuff. And then she then gets, what do you call it, promoted to then... Suspense of disbelief, rape. man. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. like... No, yeah, I, I agree. But, it's um, a bit strange, isn't it? Again, this is just maybe a me thing. The guy that um, was with Fur- who sort of f- um, Furious... Is Victorian and Jack. Is Again, I thought that was Mad Max. By the way, until it, it, very interesting. Tom we, we do get a scene where we see someone who looks like Mad Max towards the end of the film. I don't know if you saw that. No. With the same car. Oh, uh, that okay. had to be Mad Max. Oh, is it? Okay, it so to, I he thought he was on top of a hill eating like a tin of beans or something like that. Okay. Okay. Yeah, on the top of a mountain, and he just sees um, Ferosa like literally like struggling out when she gets her arm cut off yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. do you see his face huh do you, you don't see his face you just see it like a like a yeah. elevated kind of like does it look like tom hardy he's wearing a jacket he's wearing oh, a jacket okay. and, it's oh. a, and it's the car in it. You know what I'm i like tom hardy man he's my guy man uh, yeah he's got he said he said to cause trouble man. Like, uh, but, anyway, <laughs> but quick, quickly um the, ho- the the arm situation i think they never explained how she got away did she cut her own or, her arm off? It was, or some off. it was already falling off. Or was it the, the, the guy with the horns that cut it off? No, no, no. Because he was around. He was, he her was, arm was mangled. It was mangled. I know it was mangled. mangled but then, yeah. it, okay, so again, it's, it's, it's for us to sort of dis- um, decide what, what happened. But you have to understand, like, they, they were very purposeful. There's a shot of her, like, her feet elevated. So she yeah. was hanging. So no, no, no. It was, it was, she, she was going was, up. They were there for a while. Yeah, they were there for a while. Scene, yeah, yeah. Literally, good. the sun went down. It was, it was no, of course, the sunset of course. when, when uh, Dementor said. So, what's, that, what's his name? Praetor- Praetorius Jack? Praetorian, Praetorian Jack. Praetorian Jack. So, he's dead. So, this is the thing. Like, for me, in film and TV, if I don't see <laughs> no, the body, see it. Yeah. if I don't see the body, you're alive, bro. You know what I'm saying? Going back to even uh, Kingdom of Planet Apes. Planet Apes, yeah. yeah, Rafa, yeah. Uh, Raka. 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 Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Even the um, Proximus. Proximus could be like 100%. Yeah, yeah. 100%. We don't know. We don't know. We you know don't what I'm know. saying? Did he, what did you think about that? Which parts were? Um, the arm. Planet of the Apes. Oh. oh. Uh, Just a yay name. Uh, not as good as the previous films. Yeah. It's a good film. Okay. This cool, film. Cool, cool, cool. This that film. one, that one's... Um, oh, no, despicable white girl, by the way. That despicable. Oh, <laughs> that one like what you lot are saying for this one could have chopped off twenty oh, minutes. Yeah. Or so, yeah. Yeah, 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 I just want to say that I, I did enjoy Anya Taylor Joy. She didn't even have to like; uh, she wasn't required to say much in the film, but her ability to just act with her eyes and her oh, face expressions totally was really, really, really profound. And that you could see the like the anguish, the pain, that yeah. like the mix of emotions, just without saying anything. And I think mm. that speaks to her ability. To yeah, act. it's big one for you, bro. What did you think of the kind of relationship between Victoria and Jack and Furiosa? I was, was confused, it? and then I, I. I, I, I liked it for the film, yeah. but at first I didn't understand the context behind it, which I think is a good thing actually. Like at first it felt like, well, they had the tension between them mm, and they were yes. fighting each other, and then like they start to work together, teammates, camaraderie, and then it's like there's a romance here. Yeah, there's a romance, here. and the reason why I asked this is because I was reading up yesterday that Yaya Abdul Mateen was meant to play Praetorian and Jack, and I was so intrigued by that. So yeah. I was very intrigued. I'm thinking, so. Was there gonna be, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Furious yeah, 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 yeah. into the chocolate, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. No, it's, it's true. It's true. Furious into the chocolate. <laughs> hey, I would have, I, I literally said the same thing when I saw it. I was like, you're hard to my team, my boy. <laughs> <laughs> my boy bro. That would have been interesting because he's obviously such an anime, like such a very, like, like engaging actor. He's good, yeah. The, the way that the actor who played Patron Jack in this film, who was in the suit, and a very, very good actor, by the way. Like Tom Buck, yeah, he's Tom good, Buck yeah, yeah. Played, um, played a. Uh, uh, Goodness me, a blank on the name, Citizen Kane. He played. Um, oh, here we go with the oldies. Oh my goodness. Here we go. yeah. Don't look for my. Don't no, no, me. help me. <laughs> help me. Help me uh, yeah, I'd have to get the Googles out, bro. Oh I don't even want to know about it anyway. Um, Citizen Kane. The, the actor who played Citizen Kane. Oh um, goodness, but anyway, anyway. He played Harry Lyman in, in, in The Third Man. I know what you're talking about. Oh I just don't know the name. Why am I blanking on his name? One of the most famous Make, actors out there. Uh, we got it. Hold on. Make hold on now. Hold on. Now. Me again. Goodness Man. Orson Welles. Awesome Wells. So he played Awesome Wells yes. in, in, in Mank. Yeah. In the film. yeah mm. So yeah, very good actor. Yeah. Um, so it was interesting how you call it Burke played this role, very kind of quiet. And I would have been so interested to see what you had after the team. Yeah. Yeah. I think he, uh, just, uh, he could be a good Kang. Or could have been a good Kang as well. Your Yeah. Not that's just because he's black, but. Yeah. <laughs> but that's a good shout though. Yeah, yeah. Could have been a good Kang. Apparently, Common Domingo's. He'd be, yeah. he'd be, he's killer. fantastic. Yeah. He's fantastic. He'd be, he'd be horrible. 
It'd be horrible. It's like, no, uh, good, good, horrible. You know? good horrible. Oh, I see what you mean. Okay, okay. good horrible. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. oh. uh, Guys, good. can you now get into um, the main kind of like forty-minute action scene on the rig? I was go? done. Huh? Sorry, go, go, go for it. You go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. So with this year, I thought it was very repetitive, but there were some things that they did airily, mm. which I think stunt work wise was incredible. So basically, bro, they had paragliders, bro. Oh. You know what I'm saying. And they had guys that were coming off bikes, you know what I'm saying? Literally flamethrowers, yeah. all that kind of stuff. And it was so prolonged. And then you have a, sep- a whole separate struggle underneath the rig mm-hmm. with Furiosa, who's stashed loads of food because she wants to get to Dementis kind of thing. She's got her bike underneath. And then obviously, when they, when they first get attacked, the thing crashes and all her food thing comes out of it. Let me go. All her potatoes, all her cabbages, all the stuff that she had. That's like, sorry, sorry. That's not. That's not right. That's yeah. not right. She was. She. She. she are, you, are you saying she was a stowaway? She was stowaway. Yeah. She wasn't a stowaway. Literally, that was her job. Literally, the, literally the the title card was stowaway. What are you talking about? The title. When card when, the when, when her job because obviously while while in she transit, wasn't meant to be there. Literally, that's really? why she. That's why she, she. had. She had a name. It was like the um. Some sort. They gave her some sort of name. It weren't a stowaway. No, they gave her a name because she's. She got elevated in terms of like the whole kind of mechanic yeah. group. No, no. She was a, literally, but the title card for that chapter of the, of the story was like stowaway. Was she stow? I thought. I thought she was there obviously no, by design. Because remember, to when the, remember when the head mechanic saw her underneath, he was shocked. But obviously, to make sure the rig kept on going, he gave her the fuel, the the, the new fuel line, innit? You but but the bike weren't there. the bike the bike was the bike being underneath the the actual um, the truck was a result of somebody cross, um, no, basically no, getting run up. She already had her own bike. No, no there weren't a bike before. underneath. Listen, Am I right? I, I, can't, I can't remember, bro. No, there weren't I no bike remember. underneath. There weren't no bike underneath. Somebody went underneath the rig with the bike, and no, then they got was, caught. They got caught. Bike. There was a bike. That was one of the guys. That was one of the. the but that's the bike because then it was scraping because no, it wasn't she had her own single person bike. There was a bike with a freaking carriage on it, bro. What are you talking about? No, mm, that wasn't mm, the case. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, trust me, bro. Well, I'm going to go back, and if, I, if I'm right, I'm going to bring this you up. You're not going back to the cinema to watch the film. You know, you know no, no. Kim. Oh, yeah, I'm petty. <laughs> no, it's bad. It's bad. I watched this from twice. I don't know what he's doing. Oh, what? Bro, okay, that's fine. He doesn't win everything. Of course, because I'm about to watch, I'm about to do a review. Of course, I'm going to watch it, bro. So I'm, uh, I'm don't do that. Don't do that. Just because we ain't seen it. You're making us look bad. No, no, no. I've seen it. But we don't do it twice. We don't do it twice. He's the king. You know what I'm saying? And he's missing. Ah. There's a question I'm asking, bro. Bro, literally, the title card of that chapter. You're challenging him. You're challenging him. You're challenging me, bro. You're losing. What did you think about that? I'm poking your eye. Guess? What did you think about challenges? Challenges? Yeah, yeah that's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you weren't here, innit? I watched it. What are we talking about? No, no, you weren't here for the review. No, 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 no. Again, I had I had my issues. I had my personal issues with the character. What, Zendaya's? <laughs> huh? Zendaya's, she's a brilliant actress. It's just, I felt that woman was, she was just um, piece of shit, a dirty yeah. stop out. <laughs> yeah, it's a piece of shit, but she was a great, great actress. Great, act, great acting. Great acting, great acting. I, again, some of these... Um, they were kind of old. They were simps. Um, Zendaya was a bit of a, uh, a skank, but uh, hey, what really threw me off was her parenting. Really threw me off. I knew that. I knew that. That bothered me. That bothered me so much. I, I was like, forget this woman. It didn't have to be in the film, by the way. Huh? That, that's it didn't have to be. It didn't have to be. But yeah, that threw me off. I was like, yeah, forget this. Man. They were kind of all crappy people. There was no one Very, good in that. Movie. It's, a, it's, it's this, this, a different society. Different. This, this was a great. That was a great view because. Stephen Geekface really didn't like it, and I really. I, like, I love the film. I love Is it? it. Yeah. I, love I think it's good. What part of it? Like what, what? What? What aspect of the movie? Why do you like it so much? Uh, I love the. Are you like a toxic guy? You like the. You like the toxic. I, 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 I enjoy seeing that stuff. <laughs> yeah, the mess <laughs> is great. <laughs> the mess is great. Is it? Is it? Is it similar? It's messy, man. There's mess. Oh, okay. The messiness, yeah, yeah. But for me, I thought the the biggest reason why the, that movie was so good was the script. Okay. I thought the screenplay and the way the story unfolded was so good. And having it be like the kind of the main kind of a story kind of a vehicle being mm-hmm. the actual Challenger event, and we keep on going back in time to realize the importance of that event mm-hmm. and that actual specific match. Incredible. Cool. Right? Let's jump back on Furious. Do you reckon Annie Taylor Joy was the right pick for this movie? Yeah. Oh yeah, hundred yeah. percent. No oh, I, thought she, I thought she was great, so yeah. yeah. No one else could have done this. Physicality oh, wise, she was great. I'd, again, like, let's think of the biggest actors. Like, maybe Zendaya, like, but again. Florence Pugh. 
I'm not I too like sure he has a physicality. What? Because he obviously the requirements of what you're required. Yeah, yeah some of the actual sequences. Yeah, yeah, she's quite tall. Obviously, I need to tell you, Joyce told you. Oh, oh, because tall. she, but she's more. She, well, she's, she's quite slim. She's slim, yeah. And uh, Florence Pugh's just a. She's, she's got petite. more weight. Yeah, no, Florence Pugh's got more weight than. No, she's no in stature, she's more petite. Oh, you mean height-wise? Yeah, cool, yeah. yeah, she's um, she's got personality. Oh my days! You fancy her, don't you? Huh? You fancy her? No. I love it. Direct. I love it. Just direct. What are we talking about? I've got look, babe. She's good milk, man. Huh? She's good milk. Premium food. Premium milk. Hey, this guy's guy a low-key milkman. What? I can, no, I can tell he's a milkman. Back in the day, maybe, anyway. Craven does. <laughs> Craven does. You, uh, listen. Craven. You're definitely a milkman. 100%. No, no, man. Hey, listen. No, I, I, have, I, reckon I have no preference in flavour. <laughs> I'm married to I reckon milk, like. I, <laughs> I, have, I have no preference in flavour. I've got a tight white. Do you know what? Do you know what I'd say? I reckon like maybe like these men have got like an odd almond. I'm oh no 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 no! no, 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 no I'm, I'm I'm married to milk. I can't say that. Oh, so words. <laughs> oh, you're deep in there. Semi skimmed everything. <laughs> 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 hey, listen, 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 listen. It's a judgment free zone, so it's fine. Hey, listen, I I love I I I love all I love all man. Okay. Oh. I'm just saying, if we're going to talk about past yeah, we need to talk about on an X rated show. But uh, yeah, 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 another time, another yeah, time. Yeah, another time. Guys on top form, uh, okay, look, let's wrap this up, man. I don't want no more strange. Wait, hold on. Do you not have any? Before you not get into um. Scores. I'm guessing there's no much more to say, right? No. What do you not think about prequels in general? Because I have to admit, yeah, whenever something gets announced as a prequel, I have reservations. Concerns, of course, yeah. naturally. I'm always just like, I know what's gonna happen in a few years' time or whatever it is in continuity-wise in the movie, so I lose interest. Are you not like that as well, or is it just me? I'm like that, no, but I'm this like one I was okay because again I didn't pay attention to the last one, so I was okay with it. Well, yeah, because yeah. I'm I was detached from from the sort of series of Mad Max. Yeah, I went into this fine. I didn't get didn't bother me. Yeah. But then we've got something like it's not a film; it's a TV series, House of the Dragon. Right. I had my concerns. Yeah. Because I was so attached to Game Same of Thrones. Thing. Yeah. So I get where you're coming from. Yeah. Makes sense, yeah. Makes sense. yeah. For me, I think obviously you had those initial concerns, but a good prequel will show will not only show you how we got to where we got to mm. in the first film. Mm. The film that just went past, but also it will reveal things in a way which you never thought would actually happen that way. Yeah. Whereas the reason why this film kind of uh, stumbles a bit, and it will be kind of reflecting my story in my score, is that mm. you you kind of are, you know what's going to happen, but also mm. it doesn't show you anything new. Yeah. And that was the main issue. You know what I'm saying? I got it. And the things yeah. which were were new were stuff which were kind of like cluttering the kind of overall story that didn't have to be in, in any yeah. didn't have to be in the story sure and that's my only thing you know what I'm saying mm. very interested to see what you say by the way yeah I'll let you guys know alright scores seven. STC score Ken what do you say I'll give it a 7 7 out of 10 cool Kashi I think for me directing wise really good again the action scenes even though it's stuff I've seen before yeah the stuff which was new incredibly well done yeah that's cute, I think Acting was very good. Like again, I haven't had no issues with Hemsworth, but still overall I thought it was a good performance. Annie Taylor Joy and the younger actor who played Furious as well. Oh, she would you mention him? Uh, Arya Brown. Arya Brown. I thought they were both fantastic and mm, really, I agree. really added a, a new context for me for the Charlie Theron's uh, Furious. So with all that being said, it's a, it's a seven for me. Seven, guys. We saying? Uh, I can go with a seven. <laughs> can I? I'm going six, man. I'm very honest with myself. Six. I'm going six. Yeah. Um, I just enjoyed the. I really enjoyed the final scene yeah. of um, Anya Toilet yeah. Taylor and Chris Hemsworth, yeah, yeah. and I think that was actually Chris Hemsworth's best acting oh, yeah, without, without that, yeah. performance mm. in the film because yeah. Yeah, yeah. it was just so grounded and like yeah. it was. J it depicted the tension between the two, yeah. two characters, which he didn't know existed, which I liked. I liked yeah. the fact he was a bit ignorant yes. to her pain yeah. and anguish and suffering, yeah. and it also kind of like. Uh, plays into the fact that that world is so harsh yeah. and so horrible yeah. Yeah. You, need to people, have, yeah. you have to have a short memory to live in that world. Yeah. It's, not, it's, not so much it's not so much a short memory, you have to have thick skin and also you can't sort of lend any sympathy to people a, a, a wide um, a variety of people, a load of people it has to be very very close knit because everyone could go at any time and quick touch on, you were talking about the, the last scene between um, Chris Hemsworth and Andrew Taylor-Joy it's um, he revealed himself his his fragility then, and I was like, yes. oh, fair enough, because up and as I said, he was consistent going all the way through, and it shows he had to put this on for the people around him. Mm. So the times when he was talking to himself, mumbling to almost like a Boris Johnson. Mm. No, seriously, seriously. When he was doing that, it's almost it's almost a facade, mm. and I respect that. That I respect his acting yeah. in this one, big time. Yeah, yeah. And to go back to what you're saying, 
and on the rewatch, which kind of was a very, very like rewatch. crazy thing. Don't be here. Sorry, bro. sorry. No, I was talking. Just go straight, man. We're wrapping up. Uh, which I thought was interesting was the fact that he rattled off like so many heinous things that he did to other women. Like and it, like yeah. trying to there was so many he ended up forgetting mm-hmm. some of them. He ended up forgetting some of them, which I found like which added to you know what I mean like the horrors of the world kind of thing. And it kind of goes back to what you're saying about like Annie Taylor Joy and how she felt about the production because she said it was a very very hard thing to shoot. Yeah, yeah. so dark mm. and, yeah. and all that kind of stuff. And it kind of plays in to the film as well. I guess that's kind of just before we I know we got we meant to run no, up. Please, yeah. Kind of explains why Hemsworth maybe had that portrayal to just offer a somewhat like lighter comedic. Yeah feel yeah. to the film for me it's still tonally I would have preferred not but I, I, I didn't mind it you get but, it yeah, yeah apparently Hemsworth is kind of like that anyway he likes to be a bit jovial and yeah. comedic and mm-hmm. we saw that with yeah. you know Four Love and Thunder so yeah. Yeah. Fair enough. one last thing so one last thing I thought the introduction to a history man was very interesting so okay. like the, the kind of like the whole kind of like like, get, get us getting a bit more kind of like information about the world I the ecosystem that, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, was, that, was, that was cool they remind me of Proximus Prime uh, Who the hell's Prox- Pro- Proximus Caesar? Proximus Caesar yeah. with his. Proximus you know, Prime. Proximus, <laughs> Caesar, <laughs> Proximus Caesar with um, his sort of history. Oh, uh, his. oh yeah. yeah. Macy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. Alright, guys. Well, that was our review for Furiosa Mad Max Saga. Please. Are you still interested? I am, yeah, yeah, because yeah. I, I, I actually liked Fury Road. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing what happens. Like, I thought. Like I said earlier in the, the episode, the action is just incredible in Fury Road, in my opinion. So I'm definitely looking forward to it. But I can understand, like you said, Manny didn't. He watched the first 20 minutes. She, she I can no. fully, no. yeah, I can <laughs> fully understand. <laughs> no, 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 gen- no. <laughs> yeah, no. Nah. Uh, we're gonna, get, I'm gonna get when you're already, like ready. We'll get him down here as well. Please, well, yeah, well, yeah. I, 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 well, I we're supposed to get, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, we'll I, get could, Manny on. I could fully understand someone watching it in the start and being like, ah, this ain't for me. I get it in it because I think I. St- tried this a couple of years ago i only watched it recently first time yeah, like quite cool. recently but i remember trying it not long after it first came out and i was just like Ugh, i don't know but then i gave it another gun i was like oh, okay this is actually pretty good but yeah anyway that was our review for furiosa mad max saga guys get down in the comments below let us know what you guys think of the movie make sure you like comment subscribe hit the bell so you know when the videos are coming out and remember yes sir guys, guys the socials are down in the description appreciate below. you man thank you hit them up hit them up come on so yeah we'll see you guys for more reviews peace, peace.